it doesn't matter how many times I see two servos geared together. It's just still so fascinating. We're going to continue working on our kinetics trainer. Last video, we took what we had configured in our left axis and copied it to the right axis. So we have two functioning axis. And in this video, we're going to make it where the right axis is controlled by the left axis. And we're gonna do that with a motion axis gear instruction. So in our instruction categories, if we go to the motion move group, then we have this MAG, motion axis gear. And we're gonna bring down a new routine and we'll bring down the MAG. Now let's talk about the master slave because that can be confusing. This is what we typically would call our follower and leader. So the leader is going to be the master axis. That's what's going to do the initial movement. And our follower is going to be the slave. And it's going to mimic whatever the master axis does. So in this case, we're going to make our slave axis the right axis. And we're going to make the master axis the left axis and then we're going to need a motion control for it and i'm going to call this my axis and then we'll right click that new and then we have a direction and let's go ahead and right click the mag and go to instruction help so we can learn a little, few things about it as first on our direction zero it's going to move the same direction one is going to move in the opposite direction. And we're going to start off with zero. In the direction, we'll enter zero. And then we have a ratio. And this is how many turns of the left compared to how many turns of the right. We're going to start off with a ratio of one. And our slave counts will be one. Our master counts will be one. And then we have a master reference. And this is, can be really interesting. We're going to start off with the actual because... One you see right now, I have it where we can move it. Well, I'm not commanding this anywhere. It's actually, where do you want me to go? So there are different times that you would use different ones depending on the application. For now, we'll use actual. And then we have the ratio format. We're going to use real for the ratio format. And in our application, we're not going to worry about the clutch. We have an accelerate units of percent of maximum. And then we need something to actually toggle this on and off. So in front of it, we're going to go to our favorites and we're going to bring an examine on down. And we're going to call this enable gearing. And we'll right click it, new, and create and finalize that. And when we right click enable gearing, now when I turn the left axis, the right is following it. Now, just so we can see a few different things we could do, let's go ahead and start a rung edit on our MAG. And let's change our direction to one and finalize that. And then we'll toggle the enable gearing again to put that in. And now when I turn this one clockwise, this one goes counterclockwise. And let's go in there again. We'll put that back at zero. And let's talk about the ratio here because we can change how many turns on one would be how many turns on the other. So I'm gonna make my ratio two and we're going, we're going back the correct direction and we'll finalize that. And then we'll right click enable gearing and toggle that bit. As I turn this one, see this one's actually moving faster. So I'm at 90 degrees here, I'm at 135 here. I'm just gonna turn 180 or get this pointing down here. And in that amount of time, this one's gonna go a full turn. All right, we have enough now that you can make a functional servo system, but we've got a lot of little bits in there that we're just toggling. And right now we can try to turn a servo on and not have an enable output. It's time to add some conditions so that it makes sense what we got to do when to make our survey function. And I created this playlist right here to help you with that.